Next question is from Coop Lowcamp. Is it detrimental to squat with your feet slightly angled outward? Um, depends on the person. Um, I think if your feet have to point out uh, be, and you have to take a stance due to your poor mobility, then the detriment can, can come from the fact that it may increase risk of injury. It may reduce the effectiveness of the exercise because your range of motion isn't uh, yeah. great. Uh, but the real issue becomes the fact that you end up strengthening movement through poor mobility because what you train gets stronger. So back to like the previous question, we talked about bodybuilders with poor mobility, especially in the shoulders. This, if you watch bodybuilders, you know what they're trying to do oftentimes is feel a muscle. They're trying to maintain tension. And one of the, the, the bad ways of doing this, uh, it's effective in keeping tension, but it's a bad way because you do it too long, you end up creating problems, is to cut your reps short. So like if I do a shoulder press and stop just short a lockout and come back down, I'll keep tension uh, on my shoulders. But what ends up happening is I end up strengthening a short, bad range of motion, and it makes anything else uh, really weak. The better way to maintain tension in a muscle is to know how to keep tension in it through a full range of motion. So with this question here, if it's a mobility issue, work on that because yeah. then it's detrimental. Otherwise, if it's a structural issue, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think uh, I was just interested in this question just because of um, what I've heard from strength coaches and from uh, you know coming up through like squatting techniques. Like a lot of times, like they blame it on genetics or they blame it on the way that your gait is or you know the the alignment. Uh, and, and so then like the outward uh, stance with your feet is you know then suggested and then that's the end of the conversation and it's not something that needs to be addressed in terms of well if you can't squat with your feet pointed straight like why not mm -hmm. why can't you still produce you know the kind of stability around your joints to be able to still uh you know go through a movement like that that's fundamental so uh for my own uh, personal opinion like i think you should be able to squat with your feet in multiple directions mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm with you on that, Justin, and that's changed for me. So I did fall in the camp of, because like you just alluded to, is I read, I followed a lot of these strength coaches that would, would, would say that, would say that, you know, everybody is, you know, anatomically different. And, you know, some of us have hips that are positioned this way. Some of us have hips that are that way. Therefore, when you squat, you know, some people might have a more externally rotated, so feet, feet open type of stance, some a little bit more narrow, and you should do whatever your morphology allows you to do and then squat like that. And so I fell in this category of having like this really kind of wide stance when I squatted and my feet were opened up because, but the truth was, that's because I, I lacked the ankle and hip mobility. Mm -hmm. uh, and and now I'm in a – so I went – and I'll, I'll put a picture up. If I get if you guys remind me today, I'll do this uh, for when this episode goes up, is I, I, I have a picture of uh, when I was squatting during bodybuilding. So I've got three plates on my back, and I remember having – I remember having Katrina take a picture of me because I was actually proud of my squat and where it was at currently at that time. And when you look at my squat today versus just that three, four years ago, it's – dramatically different and the big difference between that squat and my squat today is that that's when i remember brink was the one that kind of like destroyed that theory for me he says like absolutely you should be able to do that and if you can't it's not an anatomical thing that's limiting you from doing that it's the fact that you haven't trained the the mobility in your ankles and your hips if you actually put the work in at them over time you should be able to get that way now he wasn't recommending that i go from somebody who was super wide stance feet all open to the next day narrow stance feet straight ahead from no, me it's because, a gradual process yeah it's a yeah. gradual process i got to work on the ankle and the hip mobility to get there and that's what kind of started that journey and now you can and i'm and i had all the, the good excuses of why my you know morphology would not allow me to do it i'm a six foot three guy i have right. really long femurs i have all the things that say you know, okay, t based off of your breakdown, you should squat kind of like this. And I've completely shattered that paradigm now. I mean, I can get into a, a stance where my heels are damn near touching each other. I can take a straightforward feet less than six inches apart from each other and squat ass to grass. But that was three years of like working hard at my, my ankle and my hip mobility, but now I can do it. And because of that, I can do that now. 
when I squat and I load a lot, I don't get the the low back pain, the the bursitis in my hips, and all the issues that I used to. So you've also opened up the full potential of the squat now, right? Because yeah. you have all these different angles you can use, and it's far more comfortable. Oh yeah, I, I I'm squatting less frequently. And I don't have to get as much weight to don't have to squat as much weight to see the same kind of development in my legs that I used to. So it's completely benefited me by putting the time and effort in the mobility. So my answer to this is if you squat that way right now, it's not that it's wrong or it's bad, but it's kind of like how we talked about people who don't squat whatsoever. And because it's hard on their back or it's hard for whatever reason, you should be working towards getting to a place where you can squat with your feet completely straight. That doesn't mean that you just, just go that way from, you know, overnight. Cause you hear that it's, Hey, if you had better ankle mobility, you had better foot control and you had better hip mobility, you probably would be able to squat with your feet very well, straight. And I think, you know, up the kinetic chain, how that affects everything, uh, you know, being ex externally rotated and over time, you, you know, like your knee is going to track in a certain way because of that fact of like always reinforcing that that specific angle. So I just think to consider that to try and, you know, change the foot position would allow more longevity and things. Like now, that. now I'm going to be very careful with what I'm about to say, because I don't want this to be used as an excuse for poor mobility, because more often than not, the vast majority of the time somebody has issues with this, it's lack of control, stability, and mobility. But sometimes there are, uh, you know, uh, structural morphologies. There are structural hip joints that do not allow for squats to look a particular way. Now, it's not the, the main reason why. It's not the common reason. But you can look at x-rays. You can look at bone structures. And you can see that hips yeah. all necessarily look the same. And there are some types of hips where the bone just that they just don't move that way, where slightly turning the feet out or having a different stance is best for that person. But you'll never know unless you work on your mobility. You'll never know what that if that's right. you. Mm -hmm. 